Now, FEMA MEMA, there's 91,000 in the FEMA MEMA fund as we speak. The other day, we met with FEMA, and in, if you notice on the page before, there's an 85605 negative miscellaneous other financing uses. They have discovered that the district had an insurance policy that there was an insurance policy that started like at $2 million. $2 million deductible. Then there was another policy that was another million to buy that. Okay? When FEMA MEMA were doing their calculations, they just they did not realize that the first million dollar policy was here. FEMA MEMA is a funding of last resort. What has happened is they have um, they have reduced the money that they are planning to pay to the district by about four hundred and four hundred and sixty thousand or something like that. We don't have exact numbers on that yet. We also have an appeal concerning the road project at Harper McConnell that we will hopefully get that big receivable that we've got sitting on the books for $2.4 million. But right now, and we were expecting a check pretty quickly here for about $60,000 on what's called the FEMA small projects to close those out. Ms. Hamilton got the paperwork the other day. In using that, we have that that we're going to be getting in towards our $2.4 million. We're going to go ahead and be getting that. We also are going to actually have to cut them a check for the $80,000 on a project that they had already paid us, that they're applying some of that $400 and something thousand that they're taking back from us. So that's going to kind of wash, but there's still a, a back $40,000 going on. Is to wash. Huh? Well, it's 60 and 80 right there. As far as the 80,000, we've got to pay them, and they've said that they'd like to exchange checks. So it's like, give us a day or two, and we'll pay your, pay your 80, and you give us our 60, and then we know we're trying to finish up the other, um, other two million dollars or so that we're supposed to be getting from us. But there is some. Um, when they discovered that they, that they had overpaid us not using that million dollar policy. They could have taken a million back. It looks like they're going to take 400 and something thousand back. And we're, we're working with them on that. So that's not helping our fund balance situation. But until we get something official, we haven't changed our numbers. No um, we, we had a pretty good meeting the other day. We had, I think, just about everybody, everybody <laughs> from FEMA down here <laughs> the other day around the table. And it's, it's looking pretty positive that we're moving in that direction. But I was talking to a person I knew that worked with them that I used to work with at Ocean Springs, and, and she told me, I said, so I want to make sure I'm right here. I said, you're telling me y'all just discovered a million dollar discrepancy where you had overpaid, but you're only going to take 460 or so back. I said, so, so we're really making out better than we should have. And it's like, yes. I was like, okay. And I said, well, well, what about anything else? Is there anything for us to appeal other than this Harbor Macon Road project, which is about 600000 involved in that? And, and she said, no, because if you really get into it, the other money that the bigger insurance policy paid, they didn't, they didn't make you take credits for all of that either. So on some things, you did get double paid. And so, at this point, we're like, please write us a check as soon as possible and let's get out of the, <laughs> before y'all start digging any further into it. Well, you are going on on the site work PW that is not capped. We are working with them to um, capture all the money that we feel is owed. And um, that's, that's the road widening and the site work of the school. So, that's, we're hoping to have an increase there of 600000 for what the PW is written. Right, but that's still, we're probably still down. Of that 2.4 receivable that we talked about last week, we're still probably down the 400, we're going to be down about 450, 460,000 dollars, it looks like, based on what is happening right now. So that 2.4 is still on our books as debt service? As 
the 2.4 is still in our books as a receivable from FEMA that has not been reduced. That is a loan from district maintenance, so we may not ever get it's a typical all of that. It's a liability on school district. It, right. Well, actually, we, the school district has paid the bills to the contractor. Okay. We're waiting on the money to come from okay. I got you. We're thinking we're not going to get all we're going to get. But from what I've been told, we're better off. From what I'm looking at, we're, we're, we're better off than it could be. I mean, right. if they're only going to take 400 and something, and they can take over a million back, right. let's get our money in. Yeah. So, is this, is this all FEMA? This is, the other day we were all with FEMA. From, FEMA? from the top. The, the ruling on the money came from OIG OIG's office. Which is still on FEMA. So, if we settle at 2 million, and we pay the 2 million, then we go up to 6.9 million on there. If that number's yeah, that no, you're going to drop balance. down about another about another four hundred thousand dollars because this number includes is, what we're anticipating getting from. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. So we now you see why. That's where it's at. Why yeah. now you see why Miss Hamilton hasn't let anybody hire anybody. Right. <laughs> so that we can stop at this point. Yeah. Um, because it is it's not a good situation. But when she called, she said, Bonnie, I've got this OIG report from FEMA that says start cutting y'all's amounts that y'all are supposed to be getting at Long Beach. And I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> And she said, They're this. And so I called, they came in, and there was quite a group of them here. And, um, and we sat down and figured out where we were on, on all the projects. We had the um, people from the architects. <coughs> engineering group here and actually sat down and said okay what all else do you need what you know what can we do to make this happen now not two years from now we can't wait we've got to have money coming into the district and and that's where we were in those situations okay um the unemployment fund we are we're paying a good bit out in unemployment unemployment is a situation that um I don't know anybody in the state that has any control over unemployment. The district paid out about 50000 last year in unemployment claims. And so that's what the transfer in is because this district is required to keep a certain amount of money in that fund. And that's based on past history. Yes, it's based on claims. W, and it's based on 2% of your W 2 up to $6,000 in the state. Uh, the unemployment for the school district, we pay dollar for dollar what the unemployment MESC pays out. They reimburse us a few dollars for dollar. Okay, there's the special aid funds. And then um, as we get down towards the bottom of this, you do have your 16 section interest fund that is still there. Um, the um, drug free community support grant. All of those budgets are, are there. The DOD grant, we, this is our last year of the $100,000 on DOD grant. And what did they cover? DOD covers some after school um, tutoring. What else does DOD cover? It, it, it's provided, it's a three year grant. We've had two years off, the third year is coming up, it's $100,000 a year. It provided 25 new laptops at the high school. Last year, 25. Or, Laptops, I think it's middle school. This year, we're providing some new laptops at the alternative school, and it pays for the software that we use for credit recovery. Um, it pays three years of that. That was and some salaries to do. That. And it pays part of the salaries of one teacher that does some credit recovery and uh, one assistant. Plus, it paid for the middle school extended school year this year. So runs out, what are, the, what are the people who are funded from that grant? Uh, that's what we'll have to look at. It's Some of it is required, so it might be that we have to shift because you are required to have some type of um, work. we got to try to keep salaries away from grants. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not well, we knew these were people that we had in place before Mr. Pierce, and yeah. we were able to use that grant to capital for them. No, we've already been talking with people at the CB base. They will keep us alerted to any new grants coming up. And there might be some other things that we're eligible for because our 
population of military has increased last year and this year. Yeah. So we're working with them. We'll be working with them very closely to see what we can pick up. What's scary about this whole scenario here is we're looking at 12. Mm, right. But I'm hearing you say things are going away next year. Things are going away next year. Yes. So if we stay status quo into next year, we're going further into our fund equity than we did this year. year. Right. For next year, that's right. So that's why status quo, I don't believe, is going to We don't get back up in the black. I mean, y'all, yes, we're in trouble. I mean, yes. and, that's right. and it's, it's, it's in black and white right there. Yes. I mean, yes. we might get two more years out of what we got. And this budget that you see now that is cut to the bone, we're going to take the bone out. Uh -huh. That's right. It's, you won't get two more years with the way it was this year. <clears throat> and if, as we said before, if we were aware of everything, we'd have done more this year. But at the time we found out, contracts were out. And so much of our, yeah. what we do is contracts. So that's something we will have to look at very, very closely next year for every position. And as people leave this year, um, everything will be evaluated to see who we have to have. Okay. okay, on the right at the end of the special revenue funds, you've got your CDBG grant for your current um, funds. We're paying for your investment. No, you're a little right. bit further down. At your 16 station interest, you'll see your CDBG grants. And then, um, and then your um, and your facilities acquisition, and then you'll see the thirty thousand dollar payment in the next section, which is capital projects fund on the Harper Macon. Um, that's all that is owed is the thirty thousand dollars on that payment. Uh, on these going through this budget, you had mentioned the number of grants. Mm -hmm. Is there a, sti a time stipulation on those grants that it has to be spent within that? Range your time? Most federal grants is 27 months is the, is the period of availability. And like where I'm going, we, I think that we do something up that we're buying more computers for whatever school. Mm -hmm. Do we have to spend that money? I don't know that we've got all in. On the, on the DOD grant, you did yeah. because we wrote the grant to try to capture some of that and replace some old computers. But do we have to, is there a time limit on replacing those old computers? Yes, it had to be done in the DOD grant within the year that we put it. We put so many over a three-year period. All right, so it all has and to be And you have spent. to purchase that within that fiscal year or lose it. All right. Right. So we didn't lose any of that money. Okay. That's the bad part about special revenue fund, the whole group, is it pretty much is, is, is you have to use it at that time. Food service is about the only fund in there that carries itself forward. And it's really more like an enterprise fund because it's self-funding right. itself. And then if you can get more indirect cost out of there, that's a place you can possibly get some money coming back into district maintenance. But that depends on your indirect cost rate from the state. Okay. Okay, and then you have your debt service funds. And um and of course we had talked last last um, meeting about Basically, on debt service, you have your, your shortfall fund, which is your community disaster loan fund, and you can see your four, um, your, your payments down there on principal and interest, the three mil note fund, and then your um, MAEP um, bond retirement. This money comes off your MAEP allocation, has since 1998 to pay for that. The two that the, um, the three mil note and the C, the CDL loan are the two that the taxpayers will end up paying for that. Um, the the Aguilar shortfall fund, which is your community disaster loan fund, and the three mil is where you all have special millage on for um, for the um, you know from the local taxes. And the three mil, y'all have three mils on that will continue for next year. Of course, you're at the 55 mil cap, so that will also continue for next year, the best we can figure. And then the um, and then the CD the CDL loan is the one that we had talked about that you've got five years of payment. Y'all have already accumulated 852 thousand dollars, where y'all put 1.75 mils on during the last five years, so you had to start paying it back and dividing that out. We increased the amount of the request to the city 
um, from the hundred and um, there's a sheet on this from the hundred and seventy five thousand that you received last year. I think you'll have a piece of paper to pack that with lots of this in the back. And this book was here? Yes. Work in the from yeah. I think it's in that book. I think you have everything that's in there, there too. Right. <laughs> I think you have two of those. Um, okay, good. Board members, I know that. Right in the back. 